Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the NFL. Talking about their week and into week six. Let's discuss it. And that way, I'm not in a bad mood at all. I'm just mentioning this. I'm doing a lot of recordings, recordings today because I'm heading up to Gatlinburg and I'm not going to be able to then. So if you see me in my same shirt and all this stuff, that is why. So let's talk about Thursday's night matchup. Broncos heading to the Chiefs. Broncos coming off a horrible loss to the Jets. That was pitiful. Sean Payton sucks. Russell Wilton sucks. Everyone on this team is terrible. Fire everyone. And the Chiefs are going to win. Yeah. Let's go Mahomes. Yeah, I'm rooting for Mahomes. I'm in my fantasy football team. And let's hope this offense sucks for the Broncos because I picked up the Kansas City's defense. So let's, let's pull through, guys. I got the Chiefs dominating in this one. Then you have the... I'm pretty sure another London game. At 3.30, Ravens play the Titans. Talk about a team matchup that probably none of the people in London want to go watch, but they have to. Because there's only football game on. Is Ravens-Titans, I mean, if you want the combined score of 30, yeah, go watch it. If I had to pick a team that's going to win this one, give me the Ravens. I think Lamar is going to be a little bit enough. I think he's going to play better than last week. I don't think he played a bad game last week. A lot of people says he does based off the stats. A lot of guys that he had dropped the ball. A lot of them would have been touchdowns. One of them would have been a big play. Hey, man, you can't do that. Like, you can't keep dropping the ball. I got the Ravens winning that, though. I think Ryan Tannehill sucks in America. And if he's going to suck in America, he's going to suck in the Europe even more. So I got Lamar winning this one. And the Ravens. I think their defense is also very good. Yeah. Then you have the 1 o'clock games. Panthers play the Dolphins. We got um, Devin Aitchain going to be out for several weeks with a knee injury. It's going to be Bryce Young against Tua. Battle of the Bama quarterbacks. And it's going to be... The, how do I say this? Blowout is the nicest way to say it. I got the Dolphins destroying them. It's in Miami anyways. Tua's going to take care of business. He's had a turnover problem in the past couple weeks. Turnover problem. Let's change that. But right now... They're doing very good to it. Keep that up. We have the Saints versus Texans. It's in Houston. If I had to pick a team, I'd pick the Saints. This is the best defense. I, this is arguably the best defense the other played yet. You could argue Pittsburgh, but their offense is such a liability that they just give them sometimes good field position off of that stuff. Saints is not that much of a liability when it comes to offense compared to the Steelers are. I have the Saints winning this one. Then you have the Commanders at Falcons. It's kind of a weak week when it comes to the stuff. When it comes to these matchups. Commanders at Falcons. I got the Falcons winning this one. Does Ritter Ritter play as good at home outside of that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. But at home, take it. Then you have the Colts versus Jaguars. Ah, Gardner Mitchell's coming back to Jacksonville. It's going to be kind of fun to see that. Jackson was also coming off a big win versus the Bills. I think they're going to ride that high. Colts also beat the Titans, but uh, it's, the, it's the Titans. I think that the Jaguars are going to win this game. Could be a close matchup, though, because I like how Gardner Mitchell plays. And this Colts team. And now a good backfield of Zach Moss and Jonathan Taylor coming back. Yeah. The Colts are looking pretty good this year, actually. Then you have the Seahawks playing the Bengals. Bengals are kind of on a roll right now. Not a roll, but they're... Jill Burrow and Jamar Chase finally had a very good game. Each other, an elite game when it comes to Jamar Chase level. But let's, we're going to see if Joe Burrow's back officially if he beats the Seahawks team. And it says, re, and he's the reason why. I got the Bengals winning this one. It's in Cincinnati. If he's going to continue this, I think he will. So, yeah. And then the Vikings versus Bears. This is going to be an out Justin Jefferson. He'll be out for at least four weeks. That's a long time. I got the Bears winning it, though. I know. I got the Bears winning this game. DJ Moore is on a roll. I don't think the Vikings are going to be able to stop that. I don't think they're going to blow this type of lead again that they blew against the Broncos. I got the Bears winning this. And no, it's going to be surprising, but I actually have them winning. And we're going to see what happens here. The 49ers versus the Browns. If any team's going to actually stop the Browns, I mean, stop the 49ers run game, I think it would be the Browns overall, but it's going to be tough to see that happen. If I, had the, if I had the bet, I'd pick the 49ers. Yeah. 
And that's pretty simple off of that. Let's see if they get to the quarterback of Miles Garrett, though. Then we go into the 4 o'clock games. The 4 5 we got the Patriots versus Raiders. Rematch of last year. The worst, arguably the worst play in NFL history. Where Landry Steven runs. Those are Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby, I mean, Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers throws it 20 yards away from him. And right on Chandler Jones' hands, he stiff arms Mac Jones and runs for a touchdown. One of my worst moments of being a Patriots fan in my life. We will get will we get revenge? No. No, we will not. I got the Raiders winning this one. Even, yes, with Jimmy G on the Raiders. You know, fun. I will learn this. The Raiders have not put up over 20 points this year offensively. Yeah. I mean, they will still won two games. Is their defense that bad? I think their defense is not that bad. Personally, we got the four, four twenty five games now. Lions versus Bucks. This is a very underrated matchup. Heading to this year, does not look like it's gonna be a great matchup. Actually, is I think both teams are three and one right now. Both teams looking good. I think the Lions might be four and one. He's about to have a good defense versus very good offense. Solid defense versus solid offense. And if I had to pick a team that's going to win this, I'd pick the Lions. I bet that's a very close matchup. I could see the Bucks win this one, too. No matter how healthy Mike Evans is going to be, that makes a huge difference on how, how everything goes. You have the Cardinals versus Rams. I got the Rams winning this one. I think Stafford and Puka and Cooper are just fighting each other really well. And you have Joshua Dobbs on the Cardinals. They just don't seem like they can do enough to win these type of games. But they keep the games interesting. They still do. So I got the Rams winning this one. Then you have the Eagles versus Jets. Is that New York? I think the Eagles might struggle a bit offensively because I love this Jet, just Jets off defense. But if I had to pick one, yeah, I'd, I'd go with the Eagles. I got the Eagles winning this one pretty easily. Their defense will be too much before Zach Wilson to handle, and that will definitely show. Then you got the Sunday Night Football game. Giants versus Bills. If you want to watch a slaughterhouse happen, yeah, watch this one. The Bills are going to run through the Giants. It will be no close than 30 points. Bills will dominate. Bills will dominate. Then on Monday night, you have the Cowboys versus Chargers. Yeah. Yeah. This game can be fun. This game actually going to be a lot of fun to watch. Cowboys need this win, but I'm going to lean towards the Chargers. When this one, if Justin Herbert plays, Justin Herbert has a broken finger or something like that. If he plays, I think they'll win. If he doesn't play, then the Cowboys will win. But if Herbert's healthy enough to play, I got the Chargers winning this one over the Cowboys. So, yeah, put down in the comments what you feel about this week, my opinions, put down what your team's going to do, give your own prediction for this week. And, yeah, hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, y'all, and God bless y'all.